Hello. This video covers how to create and fulfill sales orders in NetSuite. The first step is to log into the NetSuite account. Click on the login button here to log in to the NetSuite. On the button click, we are navigated to the login page. Enter your credentials here. If you have entered the proper credentials, then you are navigated to the home page. After you click on the login button, now you can see the home page to create a sales order. This is the navigation. First, click on the transactions from the classic center. From the drop down menu, choose sales and then click on enter sales orders. Before that, if you'd like to see all sales orders that you have created, click on the list button. Now you can see all the sales orders that you have created previously. But our aim here is to create a new sales order. So now you have two options. First, click on the new sales order button or you can navigate and create one from the transactions tab. This is the sales order page. In order to create a new sales order, you are required to enter data into all the mandatory fields marked by the asterisk. Without entering data into these fields, you won't be able to create a sales order. Choose your preferred type of sales order form by selecting the custom form. With the help of a custom form, you are able to decide which fields needs to be included and which fields needs to be excluded. After selecting the desired form, now you can select the customer. You can choose the customer through the customer field. Click on the drop down arrow in the customer field and you can see the list option. From the list, you can select the desired customer. The next field is the date field. This field specifies which date is to be reflected in the sales order. Click on the calendar icon present near to the date field. Now on the calendar, you can select the required date. So now you can see the status field and it displays that our sales order is still pending. This simply means that we don't have approval from the management. So now you can change the status from pending fulfillment to pending approval from the drop down. Now, if there is a date or end date, you can add it in these respective fields or if the sales order contains any purchase order, you can enter the purchase order number here in the purchase order field. You can also enter any information about the sales or sales order in the memo field. Below the primary information tab, you can see the sales information tab. Here you can see the sales representative field. From here, you can choose the sales rep representative who is responsible for the sales. The next field is the opportunity field. If the sales order contains any opportunity record, that will be reflected in this field. Next is sales effective date and the lead source. The lead source field represents the point of inquiry made about the product by an organization or a person. Whether from an ad or any other sources can be mentioned in this field. Below the sales information tab, you can see the classification tab. The classification tab reveals details about the subsidiary, if any. Here you can see fields like department, deposit percentage, class and location. But let's move on to the items tab below the classification tab. The important thing to note here is to select the item from the items up tab below. So here you can click on the drop down arrow button and select one item from the list. So now you can see that quantity 1 is displayed automatically. You can also edit the quantity if you need to.
and you're also able to edit the amount field. So after entering all the necessary information in the column field, just click on the add button. Now you can see that we have entered data into all the necessary fields. Now you can click on the save button to save all the data. After saving the sales order, you can see the confirmation message notification. In this page, you can see approve button, edit button and back button. If you want to edit the sales order, just click on the edit button. And if you want to cancel the sales order, click on the cancel order button. And if you want to deposit some amount before the sales, just click on the create deposit button. Currently, the sales order status is pending approval. Take another look at the sales order and check whether all items are updated and fields are updated. So after the verification, click on the approve button. After approving the sales order, now you can see that the status is changed to pending fulfillment. And there is an additional button here called the fulfill button. So now we are going to the next record. Till now we use the sales order record. So once you click on the fulfill button, you will be using the fulfillment record. So here we can see the status is changed to picked. Also here you can see the item details, quantity, customer name, sales order number and more. It is also possible to edit this page but since we don't have any edits, I am clicking on the mark packed button. So next the final status is shipped. In order to set the status, I'm clicking on Mark Shipped button. And finally, our item is shipped. Now you can see that the status has changed to shipped. This is the item fulfillment page. Here we can see the sales order number link. The user is able to navigate to the sales page by clicking on this link and also can find out the customer name here just below the page in item sub tab we can see the item name and the quantity of the item the user is able to change the quantity here and if you decide to change the quantity value from 2 to 1 you can do it here Now you can see that the item fulfillment status is in picked status. You can also change the status if required. But now I'm selecting the picked status. Next, I'm selecting the location. After selecting a location, now I'm selecting the inventory details field. The inventory page is where the item is kept and you should enter details like bin number and status here. After giving the inventory details, just go for the save button. You can now navigate to the invoice page by clicking on the bill button. We will discuss more about the invoice page in the next video. Now we will learn more about the sales order and item fulfillment. By clicking on the sales order link, the user is able to go to the sales page. Here we have got the sales order record. Scroll down and click on the related records to find the item fulfillment record. By clicking on this link, you are able to go to the item fulfillment record. 
Here we can see that the status of the item fulfillment is changed to shipped. If you would like to check the status of sales order, click on the list of sales order page. And as you can see, the first invoice created is ours. Also, you can see that the status is pending billing. Thank you. Make the right choice. Opt for NetSuite. Chobin and Jasmine IT Services is an Oracle NetSuite Alliance partner with more than 8 years of service in the industry. Connect with us to know more about NetSuite. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.